This is John Derenfeldt with Wyoming Woodworks again. We're in the school, the woodworking school of hard knots. I want to show you how fast this goes in doing the glue ups when you have an abundance of cutting blocks uh, to do and you've got a little bit of time to do them. And again, you're in the small shop trying to make this all work. Here's the platform, uh, the cutting board. I already have one line here. I always put a few lines on here so I know which way they go and uh, when I glue it. And then this is my little glue stand. So here we go. So enjoy. And I got my beautiful model, my wife, of course, doing the videotaping. And it does earn points. So here we go. We will start. Uh, we've got, it's about 20 till 12. And we'll see how long it takes us. I could sing to you in this uh, program, but I don't think you'd enjoy it. So um, I try to yodel. And uh, because I'm doing the video, I have to put more glue on. See? Uh, but I could yodel and uh, oh lady oh something like that just to encourage you in the video a little bit of music that sort of stuff and uh, go from there. So the stripes come out. We're gonna put them in here. This is my little stand. It's uh, bolted down on the side of the clamps. These are little supports because I make it so it's tight. And here we go. Flip the boards over. Start the next one, do clue ups. And again, I'm using a fresh glue stick, which uh, sucks up some of the glue right now. So in the beginning, when I first start with the new glue stick, a lot of times it'll suck up glue as well. So I have to add a little extra glue. Steve Tubbs always says if glue's not running over, uh, you don't have enough glue. Um, I've learned a lot of the things like this from, again, other woodworkers that I've seen and that I respect. Uh, Martin Sheldon is a friend of mine. And He's a great woodworker, and uh, and a lot of things that I do, I've, I've watched him or uh, just know from talking to him about different things that he does and enjoy doing that. Joe Toops, a few others. So some great woodworkers that uh, are just fun to watch and learn from. So uh, I think that's about it on my references. And little stripes kind of highlight different things. It makes it look kind of nice. So again, make sure you get plenty of glue. I got little sticks on it that have tape on them on my glue stand so that I can glue it like this, flip it over, my glue stays up here, and it works pretty nice. And this is from, uh, I'm sure there's a thousand things to learn, but this is from uh, literally from the School of Hard Knots, uh, learning and growing and making mistakes and, and uh, different things like that to be able to get better at what, what I need to do to be a little bit more efficient. Um, usually, I think I get things done faster than I do, but that's probably typical of most men. Right, Cap? Yeah. No comment. Yeah, no comment. Did you hear that? Yeah. And since she's a videotaper, videographer, beautiful modelist, stuff like that, she's a big supporter of this program. And we're about halfway through this little process. It's kind of like on a, the operators on the phone whenever you're working with one, like AT&T or one of those companies you're working with or Verizon, and they talk to you on the phone, they, they have this long silence and they say, they make little comments or you know, just so that you know that they're still there kind of thing. Are you still there? So that's kind of where we're at here. And again, one of these days we'll have this professional camera that you'll be like, wow, I can't believe those old videos I used to take. But at least for right now, this little video, this is a Bluetooth, um, that, or a, not Bluetooth, but a, a Blackberry that I use. Uh, for my phone and it's about everything. It's an alarm clock. It plays music. It does, does the whole thing. So it's kind of nice to have around. And it is our videotaping machine. It's pretty bad when you get out of breath just putting glue on boards. I think that's what happens when you're over 30. Am I over 30? Just barely. No comment again. Maybe I, I look over 30. The maturity level that counts. Well, maybe not. So for those of you who like to do cutting boards, you're probably not doing as many as this, but maybe some of you are, and hopefully this will be a help to somebody in, uh, in doing this. So I'm trying to make this video as fast as I can so you don't have to endure 
uh, watching cutting board stripes go into this thing for a long time, but you could fast forward through your video when you get it on your YouTube or on your uh, Facebook. And then down the road, we'll have a, a, a website called Wyoming Woodworks, and uh, Shannon Brown is a friend of mine, and, and uh, Terry Regal, uh, both I went to Bible college with and I've known for years, and uh, they'll be uh, helping me out on a, on a video uh, or on a uh, um, website, and it'll be Wyoming Woodworks, and, and uh, then you can take a look over there and see other things that we have and what we're doing. So we'll have an update on lumber lists and stuff like that. For because I also sell hardwood lumber, so you'll be able to see the hardwood lumber that we have. See, I'm not too bad in multitasking. I'm able to talk and get this done so far, and uh, almost in record time. See, at least if you look at my belly, I'm not fat. Um, this is good. See, this is what this is the best best way to keep in shape. Um, gluing, you know, it makes you very strong. Um, smelling it. I don't know if that's good. So I don't snip it or anything, so we're good there. And we're almost done. And then I'll show you how I clamp it real quick and then you'll be able to go on your merry way and have a great day uh, without having to look at my ugly face. Right, Kath? Come on, no comment again. All my lands. Here we go. We take out these little blocks up top. I take a couple of craftsman clamps, put it on my thing just to hold things still. That keeps it from spreading back and forth. Keep it as tight as it can go. I take these clamps that I've already taped up. I put tape on my clamps in order to be able to do the, uh, to keep it from having a mess all over my clamps. It makes it a little easier. Clamp down one side, make sure nothing spreads back and forth. Put the other clamp on the other side, like so. Tighten down both clamps. Take my middle clamp off. Pull this guy out of here, like so. Flip it around, put it down with the rest. And put a third clamp on there for the middle. and tighten her down. So we're good. Thank you for watching in the School of Hard Knots.